Oh, this is already trippy. Ah, there we go. I have done a little bit to test this out, so we will be using the new game door. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex mural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead! And this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you, will die! <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. <laughs> they told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years. And trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa. Light Monster! Formation. Resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in. Ugh. My name. Starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified, remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. 
Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. <laughs> Neat. Get that soldier a bunk. <laughs> Smooth talker. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda, but... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. Hmm. Got in here. Big day tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out. Intriguing so far. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Hello. Huh? Look over that way, if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me, if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Move this out of the way. And it's not lost on me that <clears throat> Raz's hey, voice. Raj, hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! Yeah, it's not lost on me that Raz uh, seems to be voiced by the same guy who does uh, Zim and Moxie and, and Daggett. It's very similar sounding at least. I'm telling you for the last time, no! I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh! Hi, Raz. Squirrel, try 
problem. Hey, Gecko. The wires is off. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. Concerning. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna. Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come on. Aww. Yep. Calling any sentient being in the galaxy Polarisma Australis. Polarisma Australis. Hmm. Charming so far. Oh, that has got to be the worst band name I have ever heard in the history of ever, of all time, ever. Oh, and by can't see worst, anything. Did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe. And I think you'll find that even you believe The Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. The Levitators? Uh, are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational I seminars? Yeah, I've been practicing, and I think I could levitate us both during our gigs. For real now. <laughs> no way! Last year you dropped me and I broke my drums. Hey, at least those got fixed. I'll never get back those records you melted with that unplanned pyrotechnics display of yours. Look, you know when I have a good solo going, sometimes things get hot. I can't help it. And it seemed like part of the show if we named the band the right thing. <sighs> oh, not this again. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please. Would you please welcome... No. The Firestarters. Oh, man. <sighs> If we're gonna call it that, we might as well call it Burning Itch. What? Yeah, that's a terrible name. Hey, how's everybody tonight? You feeling itchy? I said, you <laughs> feeling itchy? Watch it, Quentin. Or what? Oh, you burn me? can't see anything. You can't burn me? You got a block. That's why we're friends. Oh, you're right. That's why we're in a band together. Yeah. And why we should call the band the Levitators. Did you say heavy taters? Because that's what I heard. Levitators. Yeah, so far so good. It's putting a smile on my face. <clears throat> not getting belly laughs out of me, but that's not a bad thing. Oh, hey, it's you. The rest of camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. Now get! You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive. Giant, hairless bear? Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. <laughs> that was odd. A little silly. I also saw that up here. Can a 
anybody hear me? Bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah. We'll settle this on the battlefield. Yeah, I gotta say, as bad as I let my teeth get, that kid's teeth are far worse. Oh, I saw that up there. around here I skipped in my test. Everything vaguely ra rail shaped. You know that cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight when it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice. Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? Alright, why are we walking? Almost forgot about that. Yep. in a big block of ice. Frozen solid. Netting up there. Hmm, let's try this again.
looks like nine cards makes a uh, challenge marker. last time. Almost missed this. The Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? Levitators. Difficult sections later, if you get hit on wire, you don't get knocked back, but you do if you're knocked in the air. Okay. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting the basic brain. Son, you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind. You will have to relive every bullet scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. Won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? I think I'm ready. I'm ready, sir. Well then... You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the <clears throat> greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you. Once you do, the war is on. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go! Charge! <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. <laughs> His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here, too, if you don't get moving right now! Ha! <laughs> Wordplay. It's game day, kid! Relax! That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through pigments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a pigment, suck it up, soldier. Come on, get that pigment. 
here, piggy, piggy! Who's coaches, little piggy? Hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why ah. don't you make yourself useful? <clears throat> sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. <laughs> there it is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now. You hit that ladder hard, son. Show it who's boss. If only it were that easy. I mean, in real life, if only it were that easy to take care of mental baggage. advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? <laughs> Bobby Zeltz's foot, that's what! You stupid, new kid! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. <laughs> Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing <clears throat> in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm, no. I can't just leave it at that. Come on, one nightmare. Nope. Meat plant. What is this, Digimon? <laughs> Tumbled into this area. You're like molasses going uphill in January with crutches. We have to collect these uh, scrap noodles.
<coughs> Some of them are kind of thematic. Joey. No. Because I'm going to call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya. You. You're talking too slow. <laughs> yep. Less waiting, more motivating! Now that kind of wall, you can climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it, quick, like a monkey! <coughs> Hey, get back here. Let me grab this last one and then I will help my fellow camper out. It took me a minute to learn this one. Hey, Dogen, what's wrong? I keep blowing up. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. I can't do... Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Psychic arrowheads. Soft right, and then we turned a deep left, and then we took a side road, and then we stopped and asked for directions, and then Lady had to go to the bathroom, and then I gave Lady a bone. <laughs> okay, that was actually really funny. Punch, 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 punch! 
Very good Most reward. people, they got something to hide. They store away their shame, their dirty little secrets, and these tiny vaults in their minds. But the enemy is not allowed any secrets in wartime, are they, soldier? So go ahead and bust open this vault. I got nothing to hide. Ah, good. Hmm. Got around One of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to go back. Any bunnies left? Run, bunny! Doesn't look like I missed a lot of figments. made the emotional baggage sad.
January with crutches. Hmm. A lot of ducks here. You can see the trapeze is very difficult. Most cadets can't handle it. You might just want to stay away from it. You still get a participation ribbon at the end of camp. Well, I can't get into that yet. <clears throat> I know there's a blimp here, too. Ah! Oh, I see it now. You're like molasses going uphill in January with crutches. <clears throat> yeah, I'm seeing this one. I missed this one the first time around. seeing the rail he's talking about. Or is it this rail he's talking about? Ha, sucker! See you at the bottom! Satisfying. Ah, the old rolling tunnel of crazy lords, Nick. An old one, but a hard one. What you gotta do is. <laughs> oh, we kidding. You're never gonna make it through that. <laughs> Kidding? I faced harder than this in Mario games. Now, asking me to get those figments while I do it, that's a little harder.
I can't believe I missed that. Hello? Hello? Guess I'm early. Hmm, what's this? <clears throat> Hold it right there, son! Now just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh. Sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. Basic braining. But I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. <laughs> Way to make us look bad in there. You are in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggolicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Raz the Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. <laughs> You know where this button is from, Coach? Hey! You stole a button from the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber! No, I didn't. I... Bobby Zilch gave it to me. Should've known. That kid spends more time in the cooler than in school. Reminds me of myself when I was his age. Well, go put it back! Yes, sir. Hey, Coach, where is the G? Don't you know how to use your map? Right. Yes, sorry. And that is where I ended it off on my test to make sure everything was running good, so... <clears throat> Let's move forward with the story. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. What? Yoka, you're a genius. Come on, Dogan. Hold on. <clears throat> this reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? Man, <clears throat> you guys are good. This button's familiar to you? That's for the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. That reminds me of this time. I was stuck in there for three days straight. The first ten minutes were bad, but then the second five were pretty scary. I was delirious for the three after that, and then... Hey, I think I see Elko over there. 
Where? <laughs> yeah. Now in the main store, we have a special on dream fluffs. You hear me? Dream fluffs. They're good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. Hmm, dream fluff. That does sound like something good. No passing. But I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up. I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. That's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. Uh. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Little sneak stealing my currency. Whoa there, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Huh. I found the turkey sandwich. I just need to find a way to defrost it. So where do I... Hey, where'd he go? Wow, How he's fast. How guy get around so fast? He must have teleportation. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot live forever, there. Mikhail will find you. What the... That was weird. <clears throat> I went the entirely wrong direction. Car. Okay, call me crazy, but I have just got to sell more Psycores today. So yes, these prices are real. Here at the cab store, Psycores are just that cheap today. 
I can find any arrowheads on my way back. I also gotta find what that store he's talking about is. Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kruller? Or somewhere else? Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psychomaster. What's this all about? Person, sir, I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, oh. you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. <laughs> what are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. What's Citanium? Citanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people <laughs> more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? Welcome, Fallen Maxer. Always nice to see a friendly face around here. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> When I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. <clears throat> Your secret identity is safe with me. Um, uh, I'm doing okay. I got a big uh, procedure happening next week, so we're gonna enjoy some Psychonauts now and worry about that later. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, not like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. Neat. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should hmm. go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. Sounds like it. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry, I'll be right here with you, inside your head. My head? Yep, I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. That's Is a that piece of bacon. A piece of bacon? Oh, yeah, I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have, like, a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. That's <laughs> uh, true what they say. The weight of a man's heart is through his stomach. Mmm, pig. It says vague whether he does recognize you or not. Let me 
tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Ooh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp's door, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb psychic energy on the real world side. So you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful, like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and it will <laughs> kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there and my side cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. <laughs> oh, that's a fun way to put it. Yep. All right, now to get out of here. Yep. yep. Oh, hey, a side card. Hey, I've almost got enough for two. Would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you? <laughs> the new season of Vader's Den was looking lit. Yeah, I, I can't place his name straight off, but it does sound like the voice actor behind of Vader's Den and Daggett, and Moxie. That's where I'm going. I wonder, what is in the lounge? Is this where I buy stuff? Hey, why are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. Let's go! Sorry, 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 my bad. Excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. But, no you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. And maybe a week. Richard Horvitz, that's They're right. They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs, and you can turn them in for side cards. 800? And with that, you can change the color of some of your side powers, like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, kind of a vanity thing. You know, in my day, side powers were all gray, and we thought that was grand. We were happy just to have side powers. Ah, but you know kids these days. Ah, now here's something every young Psy Cadet needs. Now that dowsing rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It got now. You take oh. that. Now that dowsing rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you money because it makes you money. Hmm. Now, you take that side core there, put it together with nine side cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new side challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. Mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't go anywhere without a pocket full of those. 
Now, I'll go ahead and give me your core. There. Take it. Sold to the big headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do you for? Now, that's it for now. That sock. All right, go get more airheads and come on back. Support you. I hate that I killed him off. Hey, it's the king of the obstacle course! Hey, Raz! You're awesome! You must be a psychonaut by now! Yeah, or even a double psychonaut! <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Uh... Writing cheers! Oh yeah, writing cheers. Wanna hear one? Uh, okay. Ready? Okay! When I grow up... Hey, what you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best, just like my main homie. And when you say, homie, whose horn might you be tooting? The mind-reading psychothriller. Oh, you must mean Rasputin. Yeah! Red! Wow. Red! <laughs> that was actually really good for something that they just made up on the spot. Also, welcome to the chat, Small Potato. Always nice to see a new face. Yeah, am I even in the right location? No, I went off the beaten path. I'm not supposed to be here right now. But, while I'm here... Arrowheads. Yep. Almost got enough for two uh, cores. I'll give you that one, it's just my brain moves too fast sometimes to get that kind of stuff done. within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sage alive. Well, nice knowing you. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence, guys. Hey, 
Was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> Oh, I missed part of that because I was reading chat. I don't want to go to the boathouse. Ooh, arrowhead. that button. But I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Where's my inventory? Crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Call, call me, call, call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. <sighs> what am I missing? Oh, that was fun. Huh, that was strange about the audio glitch. Also, this is gonna be a fun one to put back together because I forgot to put... I forgot to hit record. That's fine, I just gotta download both parts of this stream from Twitch and I'll be good. Now... What am I missing? Hey, Elka! Hey, Nosy, how about pulling your big beak out of our private business? Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils. Hey, not fair. Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? Uh... Hmm. Hey, Elka. Why don't you and your little goggles go poke around in someone else's private business? Nils? Hey, Dogen, I got a secret. Nil. Hey, not fair. What did he tell you, Dogen? Where would you like me? It's time to go to the lake. Yes, sir, Admiral, sir. I think I'll find out what's going on eventually. Hey, at least I know about fast travel. I 
that was a weird marker. Oh, I see another arrow head. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. You have a water phobia? <gasps> Me too! Huh? No. Well, yes. I just... I mean, my family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh! I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. Well, see ya! Um, hey Raz. I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and... I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? What? what? No. no. I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent. Bye. That was weird. Gypsy curses. Cool. Where would you like me to bring me near the geodesic psycho isolation chamber? Roger that, Ranger Crawler. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. I'm sure too, but the game won't let me put it there. Call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. I don't even know if I got an inventory or not. Oh, in this area, I got nine of the 18 cards. Okay. But I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Hey, you guys sound great. <laughs> Much obliged, partner.
Well, I'm... I'm stumped. Well, thank you for the hydrate. And the posture check. And the stretch. Agent Sasha invited me for some special training at the psych Geo something I psychic isolation chamber, but Raz is not putting the button in the chamber. go to where the button is supposed to go, he just says, call me crazy, but I have a feeling that the button Agent Sasha gave me goes here. jump high enough to get to that golden egg either. starting to wonder if I should go ahead and invest in that dousing rod, but on the other, I think it said something about I need to be ranked 10 to use it. just out of reach for now. Let's see, where am I? Alright, let's get back on a trail. Okay, I want to head in this direction. I 
haven't checked this out yet. Excuse me, Mr. Ranger, but I'm looking for Sasha Nine's lab. Well, now, you've never knew where it was, and, and if it were down here, and even if you were very, very close to it right now, you, you shouldn't be poking around here. This forest is off limits. Now get! I will burn you like a pile of autumn leaves if you do that again. Wait, did the arrowheads... I've collected these already, so they regenerate? Alright then. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. Alright, so, according to the game, this is where I need to be. Call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. <sighs> That's very nice. Now will you please put the button there? Call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Yeah, that's very nice. Now put the button in the slot. Call me crazy, but I... Call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Am I missing something? Well, I said all handheld items were used with the Y button. And even if they weren't, I don't know where it is. Says I'm supposed to be right here. Call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Let me try checking in with the uh, with the war hero again. Oh wait. Fast travels over here. Where would you like me? Take me to the kids' cabins area. With pleasure. A UPE. A UPE? Yes. An unregistered paranormal entity. 
possibly aquatic in nature. I know what a UPE is, son. I just don't know how you know. From True Psychic Tales, issue 424, sir. Where Sasha 9 fought that clairvoyant grizzly bear? The one we saw out in the woods? This thing was real and huge and, and it smelled all smelly. Save your fish stories for the boathouse, boy. Now, dismiss! Hey, did you hear that, coach? I'm gonna get advanced training from Sasha 9 himself. Hey, hey, you stay away from that, egghead. You hear me? Egghead? Permission to speak freely, sir. Denied. Listen, Private, those scientific jokers, they don't know what it really means to be a psychonaut. It's about being in the field, not cooped up in some underground lab all day. It's underground? Aha! Uh -huh. Don't even think it! That brain tumbler contraption of his will turn your mind to mush! I need that brain! I mean, you need that brain! Now, dismiss, soldier! I've got some serious thinking to do. Lots of important planning. Oh, wrong what button. What kind of planning? Huh? What? What kind of planning are you doing there? In your sleep? Hey! Never assume a soldier is sleeping just because his eyes are closed. Trust me, that tip could save your life someday. But... Dismissed! Hey, Coach, will you teach me telekinesis? I told you, Private. I've got a lot of scheming to do here. You're dismissed. Hey, Coach, what rank do I have to earn before I learn clairvoyance? I told you, Private. I've got a lot of scheming to do here. You're dismissed. Oh. Well, that's... embarrassing. That is quite embarrassing indeed. Fast travel spot. Yes, thank you, thank you very much. I want to go to the campfire area. Mm. You look so cute in that janitor outfit. Fast travel not taking me to the area I need to go. Where would nowhere? I just like to come down here to hear your voice. Pop in and oh wait, that's probably why I opened up a lot of new Where areas. There we Bring go. Bring me near the geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Crawler. peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. Agent 9, I'm here for the advanced training. So what are we going to learn? 
bending spoons, burning stuff? <laughs> Asking the real important questions there, aren't you? I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering... Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here. Not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? Brain tumbler. Will I get in trouble with Mia? She told me not to take any paranormal training while I'm here. Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. So, what's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away! Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. I'm sorry. Wow. Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious. A place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. So it's you have mementos. just begun your training, Rasputin. So many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one. Your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. A collective unconscious, so we're in mementos. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Hmm. Come back here, you. Let's see. Ran away on the world's smallest pony. I love that they gave it a name in the second game. Going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Uh oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Aha! Egg. Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a play. Come back here! A lot of 
figments to be found here. And meat plants. Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else. Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Huh. Diver's helmet. That's something. Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Okay. I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh. Really? Hmm. What? Uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Yeah, that is Even bad. if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Cruller. <laughs> Where would you like me to take you, Agent Cruller? Let's go to Ford's, I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Now, not go pulling that out when I'm physically nearby, or I'm telling you, I'm going to eat it. Put it away. Okay. Agent Cruller? Charm, how goes the training? Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. You wants to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouthful of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old diving helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. <clears throat> Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast any way you want. Thanks. Side blast? No, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Uh, while I'm here, before I leave, I do have one Psycore on me. Let's go ahead and pop that in. Bring me near the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Cruller. 
A VR sequel, huh? I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm up. Hey, Lily. Going for the advanced training? What's the rush? Are you kidding? I only have a few days to become a psychonaut or I lose my shot forever. Look, Raz. I hate to burst your bubble, but the psychonauts are not what they used to be. Times have changed. The world just doesn't need us anymore. The world does too need psychonauts. Right here at this very camp, in fact. I think there are several fishy things that need psychic investigating. You are so immature! And cute! What are you gonna do? Shut up and kiss me! Shut up and do what? Oh, I didn't know you could... Uh, I gotta go. Bye! So embarrassing! Wow! He's got mind-reading power. What? Except I can't use it on demand, of course. <laughs> oh, I forgot I could just warp here. Whoops. Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Are you gonna pull me into your mind like the coach did? Hmm. <laughs> no offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. <laughs> On-demand cable mind reading comes in. One ninety-nine ninety-nine. <laughs> Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I, mean, I wouldn't say empty. There's more here it's than the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them. Concentrate them and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, so tacky. I can't look directly at it. But I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. <laughs> that looks like fun. <sighs> right. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Oh, I have to look at Excellent. what I'm doing. A victory for good taste. Now you must strive for precision when targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. <laughs> But you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the next lesson. Good shooting, Raz, but you are making it harder than it needs to be. You need to practice locking your mental focus. It makes targeting and evasive maneuvers much easier. Let's try again. This time, lock your mental focus. Again. Good. Again. No. Okay. No. Is this what you saw in your vision? No. Um, well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But... This is a sensor, an integral no. part of any sane person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche. Looking for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. 
Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. For now, <laughs> blast it. No. That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having, and it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form, raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. As you absorb this mental energy, health. your mental health increases. But as you psi blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back every day for practice and you should have enough in as little as three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. Like, I get what you're saying, my dude, but... Yo, he's literally on a time limit here. Oh. Okay. This is gonna take forever. I wonder if I can speed it up somehow. Fun. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, come to Papa. Raz, what have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Valves, that is where the sensors are leaking out. Psi blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. Oh, this is sweet. Oh. I'm sad now. Yep. 
them all. <clears throat> and we're not going to ask what that was about. Well, what goes on here? Oh, we are not done yet. Close one leak down and another springs up. Well, come on, we've got to take care of these too. some emotional baggage. I wonder if I missed some in the last segment. Ah!
it just keeps going. I should look into getting that mental magnet thing. Emotional baggage. <laughs> Each time? <laughs> That's a fancy new bag. That's it! I completely 
blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. Young man, I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, that once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh, so, uh... What would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a build-up of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Run, Rasputin. Very fast. <laughs> Ooh. That line delivery was perfect. You are my own creation. I command you to stop. Rasputin, it's time to earn your merit badge. Destroy him. Heal me up and put me down. Enough. He keeps healing. The small sensors are feeding into his strength. Oh. You must stop them. Destroy the valves that are emitting the small sensors, Rasputin. I am doing that. Excellent. You've shut down the valve so he cannot be rejuvenated. Now destroy him. Ah. Use your mental focus, Rasputin. It will help you shoot accurately and also help you with your evasive maneuvers.
focus, you can tumble to the side, avoid his stamp, and circle around behind the monster. So, is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No. Here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. <laughs> Let us never speak of this ever again. <laughs> I want to shoot more things. Okay, okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. <laughs> oh, first things first, though. Gotta talk to Ford. Where would you like me? Let's go to Ford's. Yes, noble psycho master. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. Nice. Now I can set things on fire with my mind. place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus, <laughs> but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long, he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me. Maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? Focus. Great, great. Now burn the rest. You're getting warm. Think heat. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Think heat. Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, let's take the <laughs> lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important, or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. Now, if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> All right. Oh, we've got two new powers. Where's the... There it is. Keep missing it. Where would you like... Agent Nine's lab, please. With pleasure. I got more uh, mental health. Okay, time to face my big diving helmet spitting personal demons. That's the spirit.
we're working on our own emotional baggage. Hey, where'd it go? Don't tell me I imagined that whole thing. You are my own creation. I command you to stop. Dang. Does that ever work? <laughs> The emotional bag just changes appearance throughout the ages, or you just have different types of emotional baggage. on this uh, rank stuff. the other way but <laughs> not gonna lie for being anthropomorphized bags they're kind of cute Hey. 
Yeah, get on fire, don't feel too good. Have you met the bag from Mario and Luigi Partners in Time stuff well? I have not played Partners in Time. I played a little bit of the first, and I've beaten Bowser's Inside Story. Anyway, uh, I played a little bit of one, have not played two, beaten three, and still like halfway through four. Little boy, I am sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area, here. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity of a manatee. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, doctor? Wait, How why is I he know? in my I'm mind? A dentist. But here's what I do know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it. But my teeth are fine. Yep, mad brain's got to come out, boy. It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind! But I don't wanna... Sh -sh 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 -sh. Now hold still. This will only hurt until your brains come flying out. Uh, uh, get back! No! Don't worry, Dogen. I'm coming up there to save you. What is wrong, Rasputin? No time to explain, Sasha. I gotta claim the spooky Thorn Tower. Must use your levitation power. I don't have I don't levitation. Know how to I had no idea you were at such a remedial level. Hey. Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. Where would you... It's time to go to the lake. Yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Play through Superstar original remake, but Bowser's minion didn't enjoy that game. Ah, sorry to hear that. Dogen, are you okay? I had the strangest machine-induced dream about you. TV. Well, first of all, Sasha Nine invited me down to his secret lab, and TV. Oh He's boy. He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in... Like this crazy dream thorn bush straight jacket tower place. Hacky sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. That's highly concerning. What are you talking about? Hey, El, have you heard anything else about that thing in the lake? Huh? Oh, not really. The fish are kind of going crazy about Bobby and Benny over there torturing anything that swims too close. Oh, somebody should do something. Yeah. Well, 
I suppose I could go talk to them. No fish is that big. No regular fish, anyway. Those weeks in the canoe simulator really paid off. Uh, yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Well, let's get you afloat. Finest of the fleet. I'll take good care of her, sir. That lake isn't as peaceful or as harmless as she looks. <laughs> now, don't take her out too far. Oh, no, you don't. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh, man, let me tell you about that thing. That thing is none of your stinking business! Hey! What are the chances that if I ask nicely, you two will stop messing with those poor fish? About as good as the chance that if you say one more freaking word to me about fish, the fire department's gonna have to jaws of life, my fist, out of your mouth! So wait, does that mean you will? I will punch you. That's what that means. I am the hideous, hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata. I can breathe air and love to eat the brains of little boys. <laughs> hey! Don't make me go get my fish friend again. Hey! <laughs> I ain't afraid of no young fish! Come on and get me, stupid young fish! <laughs> Hello, children. I hope you're all having a happy and safe summer day here at Whispering Rock. I just wanted to tell you that we are having a party out here Shut on the floating dock, up. and I'd Fish love for you all to come. It's levitation training, baby, and it's fun, fun, fun. Just grab a canoe and come join the party. Let's see. There we go. There she is. And there you are, darling. Don't worry, I got in contact with your father and he's going to be here tomorrow to pick you up. My father? Oh, gotta go. The race is starting. Lily! Oh, hey, Raz. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but... They stole Dogen's brains! No, he's just like that. I had a nightmare where this mad scientist guy said he was going to take them out, and... Was it a creepy-looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three-pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. But how? And why all the meat? I don't know. But I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Huh. Meat. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool! Yeah! It feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! Oh. Agent Vodello? I have been ordered to report here for levitation training. I've already done the coach's obstacle course, and Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of recklessness from Orso, but Sasha? Agent Nine said you were the most powerful levitator the Psychonauts had. Sasha said that? Really? I didn't know he noticed. Well, you know, I only work with the best teachers. Flirt! Oh. Okay, let's party. <laughs> I gotta lie, it looked like that door opened on a cliff, not her forehead. Look who made the scene. Agent Vodello? Where are you? On TV, of course. Where I was always meant to be. I mean, look at my hair, darling. How can hair this fabulous not be on TV? Now, darling, the best way to learn levitation is to just try it. I'm going to give you a levitation learner's permit. 
It will only work while you're in my mind. After you finish my course, I'll give you the real thing, baby. First, you gotta show me you know how to use it. Now, bounce on up here and follow me, darling. There you go. Now, for this last oh, one, this you're really gonna have to fly. Once you get up in the air, try using your thoughts as a balloon to float. Just jump for those rings as high as you can and then do your side float. Don't be afraid, darling. I wonder if I'm missing things down here. side of the party and I'll give you that merit badge for real. Never keep a girl waiting long, young man. of this party. But if you ever did, I'll put a ball return down here for you. Just jump in there if you need to come back up here in a hurry. Okay. Darling, float over here, will you? These rings aren't spinning and they are ruining my party. Remember to use your side float. I'm not saying it won't ever let you down, but it will let you down nice and slow. And sort this baggage real quick. I will in a moment. 
Oh, okay. Twisting the ladder, huh? Jaunty hats. next area up. There you are. Adventure. <laughs> oh, hello. Problems with water? 
Do you want to talk about it? Uh, it's a long story. Maybe later. Okay. I'm always here for you, darling. Let me just say that it's very normal for boys your age. Oh, that's comforting. Man! needed a kick out point yet. First. Technically, yeah, I win. You did it! You're quick like greasy lightning! I'm so proud of you, darling! You're so fast, you'll be at my party in no time, eh? Okay, if you want to get up to where the uh. action is, you're going to have to do a lot of floating in this room, baby. Good thing you're so light on your feet. If you 
float in some areas, you might get a little more oomph than usual. Let your mind float. Now you're going to have to use your side float again to get those rings spinning. longer in this area, right? you darling here I have a little party favor for you not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. No, he's not just like that. Yeah, let's go pick up some supplies and get our next ability and then we'll call it here. Where would you... Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh. Hide, balance, and floating powers. Getting some of these secrets should be a lot easier. Hey, where's my hamburger? I, I told you. Just kidding. I just want to buy stuff. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with this spatula. Ooh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. Uh, to be rid of the wind. And you can turn the hand with that. Ah, now here. Now that dowsing rod will help you find Definitely need one that of them. very deep. That's for all the really valuable Take ones. Excellent choice. <laughs> Ooh. 
What else can I do you for? Now. That's it for now. That stop. All right. Go get more airheads and come on back. Support your local merchants. Finally, let's get our last power, test it out, and then we can call it here. Where would you... Let's go to Ford's... Yes, no. Magic Dowser, show me the well. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for telekinesis. Ooh. With telekinesis, we can use our minds to grasp an object and then throw it. Go ahead, try it yourself. Now just think about where you want it to go. Yes. Now when you've chosen your just <laughs> good throw. Now, let's see if you can make it through the hoop. You sound like my dad. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hate psychics so much? What do we ever do to him? Well, psychics killed his whole family. Cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa. Yeah. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. And the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Huh. Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home, for now. Oops. Mm. That oh, should not have worked. Shot. Let's see you do that again. Be the trash bingo. Okay, last one. Don't be shy. Now, let me show you something. Pick that trash can up and aim your toss at the side of the caravan. Very nice. Now set me down easy and go pick up something that won't blow. Very nice. Now set me down easy and go pick up something that won't blow up your head if you make it mad. Kablooey! Throwing something against a wall is a little more destructive than tossing it around on the ground, isn't it? Oh no! Another one of my senses. Now how'd that get in here? Looks like we're in luck. He doesn't see you yet. Why don't you smash him on the head with that handy trash can? Come on! Use telekinesis to pick up the trash can and throw it at that sensor. Come on! Bullseye! Looks like the trash took him out. <laughs> <laughs> Next lesson, we'll work on your snappy one-liners. Hey, that was a good one. up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Oh. Huh, so I can have levitation active while I'm using it. With pleasure. That well, just about does it for this episode of Psychonauts. I'm certainly having myself a blast, but for those of you on YouTube, this has been Artman Advanced. I thank each and every one of you for coming, and I will see you in the next one.